How's it going guys? Welcome to the third uh, extended version of the Arduino tutorials. Um, in the tutorial itself we've covered the um, shift registers and we've um, basically controlled eight LEDs with the use of three Arduino pins. So in the extended version I'm going to talk about the general operation of a shift register, explain a little bit like what is it what does it do exactly, what's its purpose and I'm also going to cover the D uh, flip-flops which are found in the um, in the shift register itself as you notice from the data sheet I'm going to explain how do they work um, why we need to uh, actuate certain signals on our um, shift register so stay tuned and let's go right into it alright so let's start from from the beginning and um, discuss the 74HC595 shift register. So as we covered in the in the main tutorial, there are three important pins. So DS, you have SHCP, and we have STCP, STCP. Sorry. So as I mentioned, DS is the is the pin which controls the next signal that you're trying to send into your into your shift register so this is uh, let's put it as next uh, next signal so this can be obviously high or low um, so nothing tricky about that uh, this is basically the pin which is sort of in standby and awaiting uh, you to tell it do you want the next LED to be high or do you want the next LED to be low? The SHCP, SHCP pin is a clock signal for your uh, D flip-flops which is going to shift between each signal. What that means is once you've selected your DS, so high or low, you tell it, okay, enter that DS pin into the system and um, this is basically done when you shift low to high so when your clock goes low to high on the SHCP pin you are going to enter so enter DS value so this shift register has eight values so you can enter them one by one um, when you turn on the device obviously they're all going to be zero so all your LEDs or those pins are going to be low so you can shift and a value for each one of them as you wish. So you can set DS1, then you shift in 1, then you set 0, then you shift in 0. Um, and finally you have the STCP pin, which is basically, uh, once you've entered your 8 values, so your 8 bits, you tell them to display on the actual LEDs. So this is basically a measure so that you don't have um, sort of you don't show the shifting until you've actually committed to that change so this is again low to high uh, to show final uh, register values now what I mean by those registers so as I've mentioned there's eight of them in the in this particular shift register so imagine them as being as blocks so four, five, six, seven, eight. So at the beginning, they're all zero. Uh, let me grab a pencil to make it a bit easier. So at the beginning, they're all zero or low. And you have also a uh, DS, DS pin, right? So let's say you set this to one. So your pin is currently high, and you initiate a, an SHCP low to high. What that does is you shift a 1 into the cell, and each cell moves over. So obviously here you're going to have zeros. You're going to get a 1, and you're going to get the rest zeros, right? So until you switch DS, obviously this is your Arduino pin, so it's going to stay high. but um, let's say you change it to zero. So no, no changes yet. But once, once again, once you trigger this low to high the SHCP pin, what's going to happen? You're going to shift this zero in here, and you're going to shift this one by one space. So you're going to get your one, 
and you're going to have your zero here and obviously the zeros shift over one by one you set again that let's say you set this to one you call a low to high this one goes here get a one zero one and so on so you can see that this is sort of like a cube and I actually what you also have is a uh, you have a pin on your um, on your shift register which is Q7S which enables you to retrieve this last value so you're not just going to lose this like zero um, and not know what it is but you can uh, you can see what it is and you can actually queue more than one shift registers uh, the SDCP uh, again these these are all changes that are happening while SDCP is low so there's no transition yet after you've initiated this transition so after you've done low to high on the STCP pin, what's going to happen is you're going to push each one of these values into the output pins. So this is your Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q7. So you have your eight pins, and this is um, for example, like this would be one. This is connected to your LED, right? Your limiting resistor. Um, sorry if you can't see. Um, let me put it here. So let's say Q3, and let's say this is low, right? So if you connect a an LED with a resistor to the ground, this is not gonna light up. But if this was one, then your LED would light up. Um, so once again, you have to shift in. A value one by one with the SHCP pin by changing it from low to high this is a clock signal for your D latch and then once you're done with all of them or you don't need to do all eight in one shot you have to commit the change and transfer them from these registers into your pin registers so Q0 to Q7 by changing STCP from low to high and note that you have this register to, to chain uh, your shift registers if you wish. Alright, so let's take a look at the functionality of the D-latch. Alright, so this is the top of our shift register and as you can see you have DS and SHCP pins. Um, so what is happening over here? Well, first of all, like I've mentioned, you have a DS um, which, which is the pin that you want to shift uh, your output pins to. So let's say you've entered a zero here, right? So you've put in a zero, this goes through an inverter, you get a one here, right? So this is basically in standby until your clock pin, see this is the clock, is, uh, is going from a transition from low to high. So when you toggle your SHCP, so in this case it's gonna have to go from high to low, because of the inverter um, and the clock is shifted you're going to put this one over here right whatever is in here is going to be shifted in here and so on so again this is the same explanation that I did earlier it's just that it's easier to show it with the D, uh, D flip-flop so the operation is basically if this is if on the D side it is one it's going to put a one on the Q side so each one of these is going to shift through and this is where your one is going to be stored for now and actually in in the shift register this goes into another D and then Q and you have a clock again CP sorry and in this case once again this goes to the other signal which is the STCP so you have a chain of these as well and you have this one coming back to here right So once again, you're shifting your ones over here or your, whatever you, you set your pins to and you put them back into the 
into the second latch and you output them to the pins and your pins are actually based off like these cubes so you have a pin here you have a pin here and these go through an through an enable so like so um, right so each pin um, is basically getting its value from the second uh, D flip flop and it, it goes through, an uh, through a simple follower uh, controlled by the enable pin which I've just set I just set the pin to high to make sure that it's always enabled but if you want you can just um, you can basically save your registers without outputting the values to the LEDs um, hopefully this is a by the way this is the Q7S here at the end that's your like coming out pin so hopefully I've done a good enough explanation on this uh, if you have any questions make sure to leave them down in the comments um, subscribe uh, let me know what you guys think thank you very much bye